Pryor's main food market is a hive of activity. 35-year-old Ruth has worked here for 19 years as a fish vendor. Business hasn't changed much here since I began working, but we do hope that there will be positive change to the economy from the new government, and this can help us grow. Prime Minister Yuli says Korea Silver is just settling into his first term in office after winning the elections this year. Small to medium business enterprises are among the areas of local investment he is working to improve. Government is planning to reduce taxes for those people going into business, especially during the first year of the startups. This will help stimulate the economy and create a dynamic environment for employment in several sectors. Boosting the SMEs is also expected to have a direct impact on job creation. The country's unemployment rate stands at 16 percent, especially among the youth. We are looking to give financial incentives to companies so that they can employ more young people. For example, the government will subsidize the contribution made by these companies when it comes to paying social security for its young employees. There is also an active campaign to ensure that companies give at least a year of paid apprenticeship for the youth so that they can develop skills. Unemployment is it the only challenge facing the country. The World Bank places national debt at a staggering 123 percent to GDP. We have begun the journey of reducing our public debt by creating a conducive environment for business so that we can attract more private investment. State-owned companies like our airline is in a lot of debt which needs our attention. Political stability and also working to reduce taxes are some of the ways we can hope to boost foreign direct investment. We are also increasing efforts to grow the service sector. Korea came into office on a campaign platform promising economic growth of 7% annually. In 2015, the 10 island nations suffered a slowdown, reporting a 1.5% growth. Tourism and fishing are Cape Verde's main economic pillars. Tourism caters for over 20% of the GDP, with the country targeting at least 1 million visitors annually by 2021. For fishing, however, the government feels the need to invest more in order to better accrue its benefits. Service Center is our main fishing point and we are hoping to make it not just a Cape Verde capital but also a vibrant maritime point in the Atlantic. Not just for fishing but also shipping. We are looking at creating a tax-free maritime zone in that area while improving the infrastructure and services. Unlike many African countries, corruption isn't a major problem for the archipelago. Korea's government is however keen to ensure the vice is completely eradicated, especially in the public sector. Celestine Carone, CCTV, Prior, Cape Verde.